Choose the Right Guide, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. As always, we want to leave a nightlight on for that nightlight is out of the book of Philippians. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as you have us for an example. For many walk of whom I've told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, whose glory is their shame, who mind earthly things, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, Philippians 3, 17 through 20. Choosing the right guide is absolutely essential. Sandy and I have been to Israel and to Greece on a, on a guided uh, trip there, and one of the things that was amazing was our guide in Israel, his name was Avi, and he had been his family had lived for 10 generations in Iran before Israel became a state. When Israel became a state, they immigrated back to the nation of Israel. And uh, he was an awesome guide. He knew his stuff and he was a protector of us. He, he really had been a former guard in an em embassy there in Israel. Uh, he was uh, armed and dangerous, but he knew how to show you the right places and to teach you the right things about the right places. We need a guide in life, and too often we look to the wrong guides around us in this world system. In today's world, we're bombarded by an array of influencers, and they demand our attention and allegiance from social media influencers to political figures, sports, uh, sports figures, and, and they, we have to make a choice about who we're going to follow. In Philippians, Paul is telling us that we need to follow his example and those who are walking according to the pattern that God had set in their lives. But there were other people wanting to be their guides. These were enemies of the cross of Christ. And so as Christians, our ultimate guide, of course, always is Jesus. So we should walk even as he walked, it says in 1 John. And we need, and that will help us to ensure that we're on the right path. Furthermore, we need to surround ourselves, though, with fellow believers who can encourage us and support our walk with Christ. We should have mentors and leaders who exemplify godly living and provide wise counsel as we face challenges and have to make choices. Paul reminds us that our conversation and citizenship is in heaven. That means that while we may reside here on the earth, our true home is with Christ. And we're not to get caught up in the temporary pleasures and pursuits that are around us and lose sight of that eternal destination. As we await the return of our Savior, let's fix our eyes on Him, the author and finisher of our faith, who has already set the example for us. May we discern, be discerning in the influencers that we choose to allow in our lives Lives and strive to be a good example for those around us. So in a world filled with conflicting voices and ideologies, let us choose the right guy, Jesus Christ, and walk faithfully in his footsteps. Mighty Father God, I thank you that you have sent your son uh, to provide uh, a sacrifice for us, to provide heaven as our home, but also to provide an example for us to follow. Help us, God, to follow that, that one true guide in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day.